Hi guys, my name is Daisy and thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. On today's video, we're gonna make rotisserie chicken and this recipe is very, very simple yet very delicious. I wanna share with you guys how to make, the, what is the secret, what is the trick to make the best rotisserie chicken ever. Keep in mind that I'm gonna use a rotisserie, but if you don't have one, you can also use your oven. I'm gonna leave in the description down below what is um, my favorite rotisserie, but like I say, you can use your oven and the result is gonna be very, very similar. So remember to subscribe to my channel, to this channel, if you like the recipe that I do here. I have a recipe in English and recipe in Spanish. Just subscribe, take a second to do that. I'm gonna give you the second. And let's get started. We're gonna need chicken, vinegar, sour orange, paprika, salt, garlic, oregano, and pepper, and purple onion. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna put our chicken in a bowl and we're gonna add the white vinegar and we're gonna cover the chicken and the vinegar with water and we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes until we prepare the sasan. Now we're just gonna toast our oregano and we're just gonna bring it to a pan for about four seconds and then we just retire until it's like golden. To prepare our sasan, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bring all the ingredients, including the oregano that we just toast, to a food processor and we're just gonna mix it all. Okay guys, so now we're just gonna season our chicken and I will tell you what is the best secret. Some people make some cuts to the chicken so the meat absorbs all the flavor, but this is a mistake because what this does is that make the chicken lose all their juices and turns out very dry. What you have to do is to make the cuts just to the skin and avoid the meat and put the sazon between the skin and the meat and leave it marinate for 24 hours. This way you're gonna have a chicken that it has a lot of flavor, however it has all their juices and it's not dry. Okay guys, so after 24 hours, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna wrap the chicken any way you can and we're gonna bring it to our rotisserie for two hours at 400 Fahrenheit. If you're gonna do this recipe in the oven, you can also do it the same temperature, same time. Okay guys, so this was the recipe for today's video. It's super, super delicious. I hope you like it. Remember to subscribe and see you on the next one.